Uh, my name is Dawn Cross. Uh, I'm a student at Bournemouth University, currently studying BA film. I am currently on the set of Vulture. We are doing uh, day two at the minute, so we're going to be filming some amazing and uh, very stressful or expressing scenes uh, in the bathroom scenes at the moment. I am the producer of the film project as well as the executive producer. I have done a bit of everything on here. I've been a runner, a caterer, uh, even costume a little bit as we had to fix a lot of the uh, t-shirts and especially the priest collar. Uh, I am doing other projects as well. There is stuff such as Windswept, which will be a conceptual film that we'll be sending around film festivals uh, done at the end of the academic year. Uh, we've got a few small uh, web series as well and that is going to be premiering about in August time. So Vulture is a very uh, dark and uh, distressing film, very something that not everyone's going to talk about and one of the reasons why I want to do this, we are going to be supporting uh, three local charities and this is Dorset Space, Dorset Mind and Dorset Rip Crisis but through this film we want to raise awareness of the different things that can happen to people including people in the LGBT community and we want to raise money for those charities at the screenings in order to help make a difference and use our voices for a good thing. Hiya, my name is Shweta Chavan and I'm the writer and director of Walcha. My experience has been great so far. We have, um, it's been amazing actually. We have a team of about 15 people who are the crew members and we have a cast of four people and everyone's been so hardworking and really committed to what they're doing. So I'm directing this project. I've also written the script of Walcha. This would be my second or third film I've directed and Walter is like my baby that I'm, you know it's very close to me and it's going great so far the actors I have four actors um, the mother is Sylvia the father is Peter um, uh, the two siblings are Catherine and Theo all of them have been amazing we've done quite a few rehearsals and so on set they knew exactly what they were doing they knew how like when to cue their emotion and when not to how to move from one location to the other in just one take I would say one of the toughest uh, scenes to film was yesterday between the argument between husband and wife and the husband walks out on his family members um, I think it was the toughest one in terms of cinematography and in terms of emotions for the actors as well because we moved two scenes in, in one take so we did one take for both the scenes due to the location of the house itself and we didn't have as much space as we would like to, to be able to move the camera around so we decided to go with one cut and we did about six to eight um, takes of that and in every take the actors delivered their emotions, their lines so perfectly that it was just um, just amazing experience to watch and to be able to direct that it was just it was just great. So I've a day before I uh, started filming for Walter. I finished filming for another film that I directed and um, a day after I finished filming for Walcha, I'm filming another film uh, for which I'm doing the cinematography for. So it's it's go 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 basically. <laughs> but it's, it's good to keep working, being a busy bee is a blessing really so that's good. Uh, my name is Param Sarushin, um, I am the uh, animation director and storyboard artist working on Vulture. Um, so for the storyboards, I tried to work closely with the script and the shot list uh, to visualize um, the story and uh, yeah, convey it in the best possible way. So I've been doing storyboards from and drawing in general since uh, as early as I can remember. Um, it was only after starting university that I did proper research into the subjects and um, and made them look 
professional and actually what's expected of in the industry. So without giving too much away, um, I'm planning on doing a lot more uh, 2D animations and working on a few um, horror shorts, short animations. Um, just personal projects, but yeah, should be a good way to improve my skills in 2D animation and just generally in art. Uh, it's great working with everybody here and yeah, it's been a great experience. My name is Pablo Jorose. I'm a cinematographer for Vulture. In this project, Lee and Pep, they helped me uh, as a first and second AC. So past few, few months, we made lots of short films, um, like Paperboat, Aquarelta, Fire, Ghost. Um, on all of those, I was the main TP. Um, and I really enjoyed working with uh, other uh, students at Bournemouth University. And I hope I will work with them in the future in the industry. Hi, I'm Lee. I'm first AC on um, Vulture. Um, I'll be helping Fahad uh, with the camera work and the moving around the lights, the setting of the equipment and everything. I'll be doing a time lapse for our makeup artist Hanny, who's um, doing a uh, bit of makeup on the lead character's arm, uh, where she's got a cut on her arm from um, a knife. Um, so I'll be doing a time lapse, that'll be good for the uh, portfolio. So hi, uh, my name's Pisa. Um, I'm currently in my third year uh, studying media production here at Bournemouth University. I am part of the cinematography crew uh, for this shoot, uh, so we are working on the Vulture short film. Um, so my background is mainly in cinematography. Uh, I do a little bit of everything, do a bit of sound, editing. My main interest is cinematography. Um, so previous work I've done, I've uh, done a lot of work for the NHS. Um, I do a lot of work for local charities, um, small businesses, and I'm currently working with the British Dissection Association, um, and hopefully in the future we'll be working with Survivors.org and Rape Crisis again. Um, so for the shoot we're very lucky, we have an amazing cast and crew, uh, the actors are, are amazing and um, a very talented crew, um, I love working with these guys and uh, I've learned a lot. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this film turns out, and um, I hope you guys really enjoy it. Hi, I'm Jake, and I'm going to be the first AD on the Vulture film. Vulture film's about a girl who's abused by a family member and then disowned by the rest of the family who then eventually commits suicide. So as first AD, my role is mainly paperwork focused, such as the shoot logs, so I'll just be jotting down notes about what scenes we filmed. Uh, other than that, I'll be looking after the actors, so in between takes when you know the crew's discussing equipment, lighting, stuff like that, I'll be there to get them a bottle of water or a sandwich if they need it. Just a general chat to keep you know their enthusiasm up, make sure they're all right. Uh, this is the first major project I've worked on in uni. I've done smaller ones here as part of the course and in little groups of three for like the 48 hour film challenge. Other than that, I've done one wedding video back in college, so I'm quite looking forward to doing this in a more professional environment. Hi, I'm Marcus and I am the sound recordist and sound designer for Vulture. So, my experience with this project is I'm recording location sounds, so all dialogues and all the ambiences and movements, uh, but also be adding uh, post-production sound effects and editing, mixing, mastering, and uh, any ADR or any fancy sounds that need to be put in to really bring the film to life. So, my previous experiences include working for Channel 4, BBC, ITV, uh, Sky as a location sound recordist, uh, I was also a visual editor um, for around the same companies, uh, making social media blogs as well as uh, broadcasts uh, for uh, brief encounters, etc. Um, I most recently decided to specialise in sound, that's why I'm doing an MA in sound design for film and TV, and um, looking to go to Pinewood Studios in NV in May. Um, and the actresses and actors have all done an amazing job so far on day two, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to seeing the final product. Hi, I'm Hany Wellian, I'm the makeup artist for Vulture. I'm second year uh, doing makeup at Arts University Bournemouth and after studying here I'm hoping to go on to do more prosthetics work uh, with the uh, effects studios and being in workshops and stuff. For this I'm going to be doing quite simple prosthetics but it needs to needs to work on camera, obviously you need to be filmed up close. There's going to be scenes that are violent and scenes where, you know, they're 
putting themselves in danger and so there's all the effects and prosthetics that go with that that I'm making for this film. My name is Ashpreet Kaur Gil, or how everyone else calls me here, Ash. And I'm um, the production caterer here. I will be um, making sure that the staff is well fed, the actors are well fed, the catering is done, and everyone is well, as well as the medical side of the things. Uh, my experience on this set has been really great, like everyone is really positive, like it's hard work but everyone's doing their job. Um, it's nice to meet with everyone, like make new connections and like just work on a different location that I'm used to. My previous projects before, the ones I've done before this film, have mostly been like conferences, festivals, but obviously this has been a complete game changer where I do want to get into maybe production in the future. Um, also, my one of my latest um, projects are related to this film because the makeup artist here, Hani, has asked me to help her with her exhibition where she is uh, body painting dancers and it's going to be an art exhibition and I'm ecstatic to be a part of it. So I will be working for this film. I've worked yesterday and working today and unfortunately I won't be there tomorrow however I will be doing the backup stuff and I will keep it so that uh, people who are here can use it and obviously be well fed and stuff and the prep is done. Um, for this film though like um, from an events manager's perspective I did have some research to do just because obviously it's very different yet similar so I had to make sure the food charts were on time, the tape, the time schedules, the food forms, like any allergies, any special requirements, anything of that sort. And it was a really nice experience to have.